she posted again. She posted again after that nonsense about the chairs. She posted this picture of her eating pasta. And it's all like, mm. look, I got pasta in my mouth. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on fam? It's your boy Papa Swolio back with some more nuts on yo chinny chin chin. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate all the support here on the channel because this is fitness without the bullshit. This is the salty sack that you need to hear. This is the real stuff that we're dealing with every day. We are dealing with people that don't understand what their message actually delivers. Now, you might not like the way I deliver my message. Chances are you do, which is why you're watching this video, but a lot of people are just protective of their feelings and projecting their insecurities onto other people. And they're spreading misinformation and poor information, especially when people are dying needlessly. These are problems that can be avoided very, very easily with some self-discipline and self-responsibility. But that for some reason seems so out in the freaking weeds. I don't know why people don't want to change for the better. Don't you wanna change for the better? We can get those comments started down below. So make sure you comment on this video. If you enjoy, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're brand new, we got some cool things in the description. If you wanna learn more about joining the Swole Fam, check the links down below for SwoleNormousX.com. You can also head on over there to SwoleNormousX and download your seven pillars of Swole Normous. It's absolutely free. You can also try a free Swoga class. All those details are in the description down below the beard and down below the gains. Let's get into today's topic. I made a video about a couple days ago or a week ago. I don't know, time is flying. I don't even know what happened yesterday, but it was about needing bigger chairs. I did an extra thirsty on the Daily Swole channel and I also did an NOC here. And this is from um, an Aussie. Her screen name is I am Dani. Jesus Christ, I can't even say it. I am Danny Adriana. And she made a post saying that businesses need to have bigger chairs. Businesses, it is a responsibility of everyone else to accommodate obese people. We should have chairs without armrests. We should have more couches. We should have chairs that fit different people. You can see where this goes. You can't pander to everyone. There has to be this fundamental understanding that you are responsible for your own obesity. Yeah, I said obesity. It's not a slur. It's a description of your body mass. If you got too much human, you are obese. You got too much beast on you. Cut down on the beast. Don't order so much beast when you go out to eat. You know, cut down on the beast there. You don't need that much food. You you need to exercise more. You need to make better food choices. You need to surround yourself with better people. You need to stop associating every single aspect of entertainment and celebration with food, with that instant gratification. But the problem is now when everyone is maybe isolated, maybe you don't have work or you don't have things to do every day, your schedule's all thrown off. People need that reprieve. People are trying to unload their stress. <laughs> by eating, and that's not a good look. So if you wanna learn more, again, there are ways. Yoga, meditation, absolutely free. You don't need to pay for meditation. You don't need to pay for yoga. You could do all this on your own, but you could learn more about that in all my other content, and again, also at swolenormousx.com. Talk about it a lot. Meditation, mindfulness training, yoga, mobility, these are very important things that can really help change your outlook on your health. But let's get back to the main point of this video. She posted again. She posted again after that nonsense about the chairs. She posted this picture of her eating pasta and it's all like, mm. look, I got pasta in my mouth. It's like, great, you're eating food. But it's not the fact that she's eating food. It's not even the fact that she's obese and she's eating food. I mean, seriously, I push back against obesity. I also push back against like the mental challenge that people have understanding that that's a medical condition. And that's a real serious issue. That being too fat is a huge fucking problem. Whether you like the word obesity or whether you like the word fat, obese people, fat people, I don't fucking care. I'll call you either one or both. If you're fat, you're fat. And most of you that are fat, you know you're fat. And that's not you and diet culture and everyone against you. It's not white supremacy. It's not the system. It's not systemic anything. It's just a fact. And I would love for you to improve your life. I would love for you to make those positive changes. And I've said this many times. Many of you that follow me are obese. You're fat. Many people that are part of the Swole Fam, the best fitness fam in the fucking realm, you are obese. You're fat. But you take ownership of that. You're like, yeah, I'm fat. And I'm trying to change. I've always said obesity, yeah, it's a physical. Like, you got too much human on you. But it's also 
also a mindset. If you're part of this community and you are aggressively seeking change and improvement and just trying to do better for yourself and for your loved ones, for your children, for your family, to be a good influence and to be a, a valuable part of growing a better society, you're welcome here. I don't hate obese people. I don't yell at fat people on the fucking street. I'm not a psychopath. Well. Maybe I am, but I'm also not going to lie to you. It's still not good whether you take responsibility for it or not, objectively, you're fat. You gotta take care of your health. So when she posts a picture like this, you might look and be like, it's a fat person eating. Fat people have to eat too. Just because you got too much human on you doesn't mean you just starve yourself. That's not the answer either, so I'm not saying that. But her caption, again, why does it always have to be this activist mentality? Why do you have to try to change the way people think about an objective situation? Here's her caption. We don't see enough photos of fat people enjoying food, period. We don't see enough photos of fat people enjoying food, period. Literally all my content, <laughs> we see a lot of videos, plenty of mukbangs of fat people enjoying food. We see way too many people that are fat enjoying food. What the fuck are you talking about? What is going on? Wait, what planet do you live on? That's all I see are fat people enjoying food. Like way too much enjoyment. That's the problem. I want fat people to take over the internet with mukbangs. She wants fat people to take over the internet by stuffing their fucking fat faces with way too many calories so she wants people to have disease. She wants people to kill themselves with food or something. I'm not saying she wants to murder people, but why are you encouraging already fat people to post tons of mukbangs? That's extremely unhealthy and that's what I'm always raging about. I don't care if you're fat or you're not, you're spreading a terrible message. She wants fat people to take over the internet. Why is this always about power? Why is this social justice bullshit it's about fucking power. All these movements are about power and controlling what other people say, controlling the narrative. It's not about compassion, it's about fucking control and power. People are already obsessed with what fat people eat and do so. Just know to my fat friends out there who have histories of eating disorders and being shamed for fueling their bodies, you deserve to eat food, any food you want. Well, let me clarify this. I'm just gonna translate this a little bit. Histories of eating disorders and being shamed for fueling their bodies. If you are fat, if you are obese, if you're morbidly obese, you are fueling your body too much. The difference between a human being and a car is that when you overfill a car, you'll get fuel and gasoline everywhere. You'll destroy your paint job. You'll get all over your fucking clothes. It'll be disgusting. You might have to pay a fine or clean it up or whatever. It's a horrible fucking mess. If you ever spilled gasoline, it fucking reeks. You get it on you, fucking reeks. It's really dangerous. So you don't do it. You don't, when your fucking gas tank clicks, what do you do? You stop pumping gas. You don't keep on being like, well, fuck it, it could take more. Some of you do, but you're not supposed to. But still, it'll keep on click, click, click. You take it out, even if you try to top it off a little bit. You don't spray it all over your fucking car. It's gonna go somewhere. You don't uh, drink it or put it in your pocket. You fill up your car, you move on. Why are our bodies different? Just because we can stretch our stomachs more doesn't mean we should. Case in point, people are just disgustingly overweight and obese already. You're fueling your body, fine. You're overfueling your body, not fine. Obviously, if you're overfueling for one day out of the week, you might not notice it. You might not gain weight because maybe you underfuel it another day, right? It's caloric balance. But if you overfuel it regularly, guess what you're gonna be? You're gonna be obese. And what, you want my sympathy? You want more people? Why is it like obesity to try, why is it trying to take power back? Why are people trying to use this as like, we need more obesity to take? No, we don't. What the fuck is wrong with these people? Fat people are everywhere. Why does this need to be like some kind of like prize? This laziness fucking apathetic prize. What do you deserve? You deserve jack fucking shit. You're not putting in any fucking work. You're just complaining. This is lunacy. This is insanity. I don't understand what the fuck these people think this is accomplishing. Nothing. They want power. They want control. <clears throat> You deserve to eat food, any food you want. They're doing it anyway, that's why they're fucking fat. How do you think this happens? Also, I'm going to take more fat food enjoyment photos. Cool, you're giving me a lot of content. Actually, let's make that a hashtag, fat food enjoyment. Add your photos there. <laughs> I'm all over it. Now, this post, I couldn't see it on my account because she blocked me. 
Did I hurt your feelings? Did I say things you don't want to hear? Enjoy your soapbox inside your little fat bubble because I'm not stopping to make content about it. This is called criticism. And yeah, I use some naughty words and I don't dislike her as a person. I don't know her, but I dislike the fucking shit that she puts out there. And I think it's horse shit. I think it's insane nonsense. I think it's insanity. And people are commenting below it. Kenzie Brenna, Nadia Bocody, whatever. I've made some videos on Kenzie before. Oh my God, yes. Brilliant, also that pasta looks delicious. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, take more fat fucking photos. Get fatter, keep going. Let's see how that's gonna work out for you in 20 or 30 years. Yeah, let's see how that plays out for you. Good luck with that shit. What are your thoughts, fam? What's your experience with this nonsense? Do you think we need some more fat photos? Do you think we need more fat food enjoyment? Do you think we need fat people to take over the internet with fucking mukbangs? Hey, they already are, and it's provided me with a ton of content, and I'm not stopping to drop ball bags anytime soon. What are your thoughts? Drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this salty sack. And remember, check all the links in the description to actually take control of your health, to actually take control of your body weight, whether you wanna gain weight and muscle or lose fat. If you wanna improve your life, check out SwoleNormousX.com. We got the Summer Swole special going on right now. Links all down below in the description, and I'll see you back here real soon for some more Nuts and Yo Chin. Peace the fuck out. We stay woke, but y'all sleep. Real emo, but y'all sheep. Out in public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real freak. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said, stay woke. We in real emo. I said, stay woke. Real emo. Stay woke. Real emo. I said, stay woke. Real emo. Stay woke. Real emo. I said, stay woke. Real emo. Stay woke. Real emo. Y'all a bunch of clowns You will not get a laugh out of me You can talk but you can't denounce I live a different theology Why I transfer to a new account You just fucked over a prodigy Posted up with a rented crown You are the king of the apology You about to 